We got a little <clears throat> another little project I wanted to show what I was working on here and uh, actually since it's colder outside <clears throat> I have got to my uh, in the basement shop and uh, a little bit of a man cave so uh, I have got a window I've been aiming to do this one of those projects that uh, it is uh, a 12 pane window from it came when they uh, replaced the windows in the courthouse and they was going to throw them away and I said hey I could take one of those that's the inside here so I am going to see if I can redo it it'll take a little bit but I'm going to turn it into a picture frame so it will hold 12 sort of eight by 10 pictures. And it should look nice after I get it done, but I'll have to get new glass probably because they are not wanting to come out. I've used, I got some really tough stuff in there. So, I've been trying different methods. And that don't work too well. Let me get my glasses on. This one seems to work the best right now. So. to see what I could do with that maybe I can get it cleaned off like this without breaking all the glass and having to replace it we'll see windows look like they're made of poplar some kind of medium ash maybe or poplar it's a whitish yellowish wood so uh, We'll see. I'll get it cleaned up and
Okay, after about 15 minutes, we've got one piece of glass out. There's no way to get them out without breaking it. So, and I've seen, it's got a different color of some sort right there. It used to be a green. Tell the picture, of the color is a little different color there. Several coats of paint, but uh, I've got uh, 11 more to go to get out, so we'll get her done. Okay, who would have thought the old COVID mask would come in handy in the goggles, but anyhow. Let's give it another try and see what we can get done with this. So stand by. Get done like this. So. your brain. big mess a lot of cleanup to do but it's pretty solid uh, the bottom portion here the window you can see it and I only got one little spot on my wrist that I got a little piece of glass so uh, I survived the glass shattering Get some cleanup and I will be back. Yeah, I've got a piece of metal on the bottom here. So I'm getting it off.
<clears throat> okay, I'm uh, working on this window project, window or a uh, picture frame again. So this was the original windows from the courthouse, what they changed about 10 years ago. And as you can see, this window, I think it's the original window when the courthouse was built in 1949. So it is, um, they each have some uh, little metal pieces here, kept the glass in. But this caulking has got rock hard, but I've got most of it out. So uh, I'm gonna start sanding then and we'll go from there. grinding or sanding wheel it works good to get the big stuff off I use my jitterbug but it's got a nice grain there what kind of wood I think it looks like a um, pine or a spruce type of wood is what it looks like so but yeah I think we'll go back with some paint because it's got cracks that gotta fill up so we got a long ways to go okay I have uh, tried some spray on the premium paint and epoxy remover so it's a strip paint stripper both of multiple layers and of course i did this outside and let it soak and i can show you here it does come it's got several layers but it did loosen it up where i can just Scrape it off. So, in these curved surfaces, that's going to be much better than trying to sand. Still going to have to sand it. But. So, you want to spray it and do this in a well ventilated area because that stuff is stout and highly flammable just in case you was wondering so i'm gonna work on this and i will be back okay i have got uh the first coat of uh white paint sanded after several hours and it's looking pretty good. Gonna get another coat, maybe two more. And then I have got the, oh, it's like eighth inch plexiglass. It's still got the, clear, the protective coating on it. And then I've cut uh, cardboard. So the picture will go in there, frame here. And I'll have two clips to go in there and hold it in place. So uh, you can change the frame out. So that's, uh, I got to get 12. Eight and, they're going to take eight and a half by 11.
uh, and that's how we cut the plexiglass and the cardboard and it worked pretty well and I still have all my fingers Okay, and now I am getting the plexiglass cut. Now I gotta cut the styrofoam or the cardboard the same size. And then I have an 8 by 10 uh, The tin uh, matting that will go so this goes this goes down so it will go like that. That. Okay, I'll we'll get that. And then I have got eight to ten photos. I will get those laid out and glued in there, and we will be moving right along. Okay, I've got the, um, it's called uh, glazier, glazier points, 
for the securing the backing. So uh, trying different methods. Uh, probably a tool for. Decent. Let me put the rest of them in and I'll be back. Okay, let me show you a little bit. Uh, got the backing done. Got the hanging wire for hanging. And let me show you the front. So, uh, there's the pictures. And just uh, pictures around Hardin County that I've taken in the past few years. So, and I think it'll look good. Hanging in the courthouse there at the accounting office. So that's where it's headed. And I will catch y'all later. See you on the next project.